You've seen the series. You love the eight subsequent spin-offs. But not even Willowitz vs. Wick could have prepared you for the final chapter in the Big Bang Theory saga. Old Sheldon! Hmm? Whoa, whoa, who, who's there? Who is that? Is that you, Bazinga? As a 97-year-old with Asperger's living alone in a post-climate change future, old Sheldon gets into some scrapes. Mr. Cooper, <gasps> it's your Meals on Wheels delivery. Who is it? Amy? Is that you? See you, Benny. Pick it up. Star Wars, Star Trek. Bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> oh, dear. Star Wars, Star Trek. Oh, dear. Sir, if you do not answer, I'm required by state food conservancy laws to eat this meal myself right here in the hall. Where's Raj? I'm scared. <laughs> Old Sheldon, streaming now on CBS Shunt. The shunt that provides all of your nutrient goops. And also, now, Old Sheldon. Lap it up, fuckers. I said Old Sheldon, lap it up. Damn, commercials. Get back to the program. I'm the mayor, damn it. There are more important things I should presumably be doing. Mayor. What is it? I'm watching TV. I'm turning it off. Now back to the mayor who never got interrupted. Aww. I'm sorry you're mayor royalty, but our deep space probes picked up some disturbing audio on a routine sweep of the town to find those raccoons that have been knocking over Mr. Levinson's trash cans every night. Worth every penny. Sir, you need to hear this. <laughs> My fellow slurks, we have 77 zerps until we attack Earth. Slurps, zerps. What the flurp are you talking about? I'm trying out some cool new slang, hoping it'll stick. Victory will be ours. Undoubtedly. But first, we must determine the Earthling target to destroy first. A crippling blow that will demoralize the planet. White House. Isn't it a little obvious? I think we should blow up a forest in the middle of nowhere. Then no one would die. Yeah, but the Earthlings will be so freaked. They'll be like... Why would they do that? It's so crazy. These guys are insane. I have a thought. The Earthlings are obsessed with art. If we take away their most famous singer, Rod Stewart, their society will crumble. Who? Rod Stewart. Earth is obsessed with him. I don't think they are. Sir Roderick David Stewart Rod the mod. Who wasn't in the data logs? Just trust me. Cut humanity off at its source. Kill Rod Stewart. No, no. Earthlings are obsessed with power and order. We should blow the power grid in a major city. Watch them descend into chaos like the animals they are. And Rod Stewart's cover of have I told you lately? No one cares about Rod Stewart. He's underappreciated. They're going to miss him when he's gone. You're really slurping me off, man. Ugh, slurping. I like that one. It's sticking. It's good. Thank you. Check it out, check it out. What if we pick a singer nobody knows and kill them? Earth would be like, what? I never heard of her and she's already dead? These aliens are out there. I've said it before and I will say it again. Look at how many lighthouses they have. Thousands! So let's just blow up two of them. And bonus, some ships crash. We want their resources intact after they surrender. We can't just go around blowing things up because they're ugly. Well, I guess your face is safe then, isn't it? Crook you, Plamp. I'll sizz off your slurp and cring down your jute. Listen, this is what we're going to do. Blow the whole planet up. Write it off as a business expense. Boring. Which will, of course, include blowing up the, uh... Haggerty Forest Park in Scotland. Oh, I never heard of it. It's perfect. The explosion will also take out a nearby lighthouse and all the lighthouses everywhere. There, was that so hard? And what about Rod Stewart? I mean, sure, he'll be blown up. But is that death for one such as he? How does one kill a god? Uh, Tim, just pick a Rod Stewart song and we'll play it while we blow everything up. I can't pick one. The man pinned a career-spanning catalog of hits. That's it. We're done. Meeting over. The laser will be warmed up in 20 minutes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Swimming Pool. Amen. 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 
I hate that song. That is not important, Mr. Mayor. I didn't say it was. Not everything I say has to be important. I can simply remark. I'm doing it now. We're wasting time. We've got 20 minutes until the alien attack. We must inform the White House, NASA, the National Guard. Hold on now. This is my town, damn it. And I'll handle this. I'm calling our fine city's top cop, Frank Wade. He's never failed me. Sure, he may be a loose cannon with a troubled past and beard stubble you could strike a match on, but he gets the job done. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hello, Trish? This is the mayor's line. No one should be... (sighs) Deputy, what in Sam hell am I listening to? I don't know, sir. Let's listen and find out. Sounds good. Hey, lady. Oh, hey, lost you for a minute. You going tonight? I just marinated some chicken and wine and cloves. Heck yeah. What are you doing right now? Washing the clothes, stink off my hands, looking at dude's dick pics. I got 87 this morning. 126. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. Oh, my God, I'm so <sighs> sorry. The police keep emailing me about this homeless guy that I ran over two weeks ago. Oh, my God, I hate police emails. It's like, call me, police. Want to hear something cool? Never, just kidding. Fuck you, go. So, I totally hooked up with Tim Burton last night. Oh, my God, fucking for realsies? For true. His tongue is totally like the spiral things from his movies. He just unfurls it right into your pussy. It's so cool. Wow, does his dick do that? No. Moth tongue, normal dick. Oh, that's weird. You know, I would have thought that. The other way around? I know, but. Huh, so instead his tongue just, uh. Unfurls into your pussy. Wow, that is so gay. Which is cool. Oh, shit, I gotta go. My class is waking up from nap time. I have no idea what this thing is that I'm hearing. The aliens must already be scrambling our communicators. Then edgy but somehow not racist policeman Frank Wade is truly our last hope. You'll have to go in person to deliver my mayoral summons, Deputy Mayor. On it, Chief. I just have to stop at Best Buy to pick up some new earbuds first. Hmm. And how much time until the aliens blow up Earth? 18 minutes, sir. Oh, you've got time. Till Frank, I said hi. Uh, there probably won't be time, but okay. Just this? Yep. Okay, go ahead and type your email on the pad. Oh, I'm not part of... I don't do the Best Buy Club. Points. Club points... Whatever, so... This is so we can email you your receipt. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's okay. Jeez, this thing's tough to type on. Do you want Best Buy points? Oh, no, not today, thanks. Do you want to apply for Best Buy credit card? You get 15% off. What now? I'm just getting earbuds. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. It's gonna ask you if you want Best Buy points. Just go ahead and head in now. Okay, so it'll just email you the link to set up Best Buy points in case you later want to set up Best Buy points. Do you believe in burning children? Huh? What? Okay, it's going to ask you if you want to add one, two, or three dollars to your total today to support St. Julian's Orphanage for recovering burned children. So just hit no, or one, or two, or three, and it'll repeat back what you hit. Three dollars. Okay. Other was an option, but I'm not here to argue, sir. Do you want a bag for this? Because it's a nickel extra a bag. I don't want a bag for my earbuds. I'll just wear them out. Okay, so it's just going to ask you if you wanted a bag. Just go ahead and hit no. And it's going to ask you if you want to apply Best Buy points to the purchase of future bags. Just go ahead and hit either yes or not right now, but definitely later. Because those are the only two options. Okay, sign the screen, please. Use your finger, the pen is broken. Uh, okay, there it goes. Okay, and now it's gonna ask for your fingerprint, but we already got it when you sign with your finger, so just hit okay. Okay? Small blood and fecal sample. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, just ordering lunch. Sandra's gonna pick up for everyone. That that still raises quite... Forget it. Forgotten. Now, how would you like to pay for this today? Show this cash, okay? 
No. Okay. I'm afraid when you committed to a digital donation to St. Julian's, you also locked into a digital payment option and agreed to have your data sold to participating advertisers. Would you prefer Apple Pay, PayPal, Venmo, debit, credit, a small blood and fecal sample, Best Buy points, or Best Buy bags that you bring back later to exchange for credit in the form of Best Buy points? Or blockchain? Damn it! Fuck's sake. Okay, no need to swear, sir. Please insert your chip into the slot or else swipe it on the side. And I forget which one is the right one. I'm going to look at you like a failure if you guess the wrong one first. Okay, that was the wrong one. And if you could please hurry, sir, there's a lot of people in line behind you. Oh, fucking. All right, shut up, please. Just let me focus here. I've got to go tell Frank Wade to stop the aliens in the next 11 minutes or we're all dead. Okay, you're going to want to hit either credit or U.S. credit, one of which means debit, but I forget. (laughs) That was the wrong one. Now keep it. Keep the earbuds. Okay. Well, I'm sorry we couldn't serve you today, sir, but... St. Julian certainly appreciates the beneficence of your largesse. Three complimentary Best Buy points will be emailed to you. Okay, fine. And I can use that to buy stuff at Best Buy? No. And show your physical receipt to Rudy on the way out or he'll punch you in the neck. But you emailed me the receipt. Rudy! (laughs) Well then, guy just totally got throat punched. I love that. Love it. Ugh, they need to open up another register. This line is nutsack. Oh, hey, look at your Twitter. Why? What? See it trending. Bradley Cooper ate someone's service dog? Oh, that's shitty. Oh, no, 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 number two on trending. Oh, shit, you didn't. Yeah, I blew up the moon. That's crazy. <laughs> you're on fleek this week. First your bird wrote that book, and now this? Well, on brand it is for me, so mm-hmm. I just kind of said, fuck it, and did it. Look at all these photos. There's no more moon. I know. I've gotten hella death threats all day, all from guys. Ugh, men are the worst. One guy I sued a bunch actually parks his car across my street with binoculars when I sleep. Oh, really? Yeah, I found his family, though. I home invade them every two weeks, and I tell them, hey, cut it out. Cut it out with the binoculars. I just shriek it at them. They get it. They know what I mean. Oh, yeah, fucking queen. Ugh, this line. Oh, shit, I've got to go. I'm supposed to convert a priest to atheism, like, like now. I'm so proud of you. Bye. Ugh, thanks. I'm taking your car. Bye. All right, Mr. Mayor, I got this old transistor radio you asked for. Maybe we can use it to contact Frank Wade before it's too late. Let's turn it on, shall we? Time, weather, and... Frank! Frank, you old dog, is that you? I think we're getting signal interference from the local radio, sir. Cram it, I'm talking to Frank. Frank! Frank, you old SOB! How are you? All right, welcome back to 95.5 KLDS Los Angeles. It's the 9 a.m. hour. I'm your host, Chris Carter, and you're listening to Breakfast with the Beatles. Let's throw it now to this classic from 1967. Does anyone want some tea? Sure, George. Thank you. Me cups by the base. Tell me when. When? All eggs. Mmm. Hmm. Scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Da 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 scrambled eggs. Shut your gob, it's morning, Christ. Ringo? I'll take him, Benny. Benny, what are you on about? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, John. Why didn't you just fucking say that? Sorry, John. Can I have some eggs Benedict, please? No, I'm not making you bleed an eggs Benedict, mate. You're not the fucking queen, are you? Take him, Scramby. All right. I'm just happy to be here, mate. Hey, what about this one? Fucking hell, Paul. Can we just eat one meal without you banging forks and spoons against a glass? Sorry. I liked it, Paul. Shut up, Ringo. Oh, I'm George. You know, when I was a kid, me mum would sing while she cooked. What would she sing? Little ditty she made up. That's sweet. Not really. The voice was shy. Ringo, please pass the jam. I'm George. I'm not fucking talking to you, am I? Here you are. Woo! Fucking hell, Ringo. Sorry, John. I'm Paul. How are everyone's crumpets? Shut it, George. I think they're delicious. <laughs> Marvelous. Cracking. Wish I could dip them in some Benny. The yolk running down all silky when you cut it. <sighs> all right, I'll make you fucking eggs, Benedict. Anyone else? George. Paul. All right. 
four eggs, Benny, coming up. Hooray! 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 Thanks, Hooray! John! Yay Beatles. for John! I don't think that was Frank Wade. Frank has a deeper voice, also less voices, and he's not British, and... Clearly the aliens have taken over the radio waves as well. I'm afraid that Deputy Mayor and Frank Wade are our only hope now, and they've only got... <gasps> Nine minutes! Hold on, what's this? <gasps> An email from the aliens. How can you tell? It's from aliens at space.war. It's got an attachment. Let's see what we got here. Click, click, click. Add for old Sheldon. Swipe out of that. Whatever you do, don't. Oh, too late. Ah, oh, no. Uh, not these uh, two. Hi. Damn it. Do you remember that horseman? Mm, well, uh, the one with too many teeth? Yeah, okay, so I saw him recently. Uh-huh. Started oh. to like glow his eyes, and so I stabbed him with the dagger I pulled out of the half spawn hell child's ribcage. So I guess I'm famine now. Oh no, the horseman. That's so crazy. You know, I was famine for eight weeks, like a year and a half ago. Do you remember that? How did you get rid of it? I have cold bodies, and I'm like, I can't even with this sickle. Ugh, scythe, I'm sorry. Oh, you know, I just gave it to the investment banker. Like, I just zapped it into him. Should I do that? Oh no, you know, just like enjoy it until you don't. Then bail and do whatever. Yeah, but I've been getting these weird urges to take all the corn away forever, or like, you know, make the soil fallow, you know, like everywhere. But this lift is taking forever. Mm, Meld with your driver's mind and run all the lights. That's what I do. When you were famine? Oh, no, no, we can just do that. Oh, I forgot. Good call. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll see you in a few. Okay, see ya. Hey, lift guy. Yes, miss. Oh. My God, that was hideous. Yes, sir, and mythical, if I'm not mistaken. Why would the aliens send this? Oh, wait, there's a PS. Oh, I see, I see. They did that thing where they judged the entire human species by one example, and they picked Barb and Trish was our second chance, and now we're fucked. Like they say, two strikes and you're out in alien baseball. So to summarize... The world will blow up in about five minutes. Couldn't we just find these women and give them to the invaders? You've got a lot to learn, unnamed mayor's aide. Whether we like it or not, we are servants of the people, and people like entities. Barb and Trish are constituents of this fine municipality, and I'll be ashes in the mayor mausoleum before I turn on a voter. Even if they do make my skin crawl. God bless you, sir. And God bless America. Even though that's not the country we live in. All we can do is pray. Pray that my trusty deputy makes it in time. Because if anyone can foil an alien invasion in three minutes and change, it's Frank Goddamned Wade. Frank Goddamn Wade. Well, the good news is that it's all over. You've cleared your name, and the real criminals are behind bars. I didn't kill my wife. We know. And I'm sorry for not believing you earlier, but we have the man who did it now, thanks to you. You're a brave man, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. But there's bad news. Huh? During the course of your awesome revenge, and let me be the first to say, it was fucking awesome. Most amazing thing I've ever seen. That dude's head just... Yeah, but... While you were getting your totally justified revenge, you stole, damaged, and or destroyed the property of more than 50 citizens of the city. Did I? Yes. Really? Huh. Like what? Well, for one thing, you're being sued by three different fruit and vegetable stand owners for destroying their livelihoods. Well, that's because you were chasing me. Ah, I was trying to lose you with the old fruit me do. Yes, but to be fair, at the time, we thought you killed your wife. I didn't kill my wife! Yes, Frank, we know that now, but that's not the point. That's right. The point is... You level an antique store in the mall. I was trying to catch the man who killed my wife. But he wasn't even in the store. You just tossed over an entire display of figurines and then jumped through the plate glass window. I had to take a shortcut through the mall. He was getting away. Look, Frank, you caught the guy. You did, but we couldn't. But you also stole seven cars while you did it and totaled two of them. Not to mention the thousands of random bullet holes now perforating the city's walls. At some point, you have to ask, how much was Frank Wade's wife's life worth, even? You know, in terms of cars. The owners of all these places and things 
I saw in the city, and they're gonna make an example of you. You are finished, Frank. D- do they know I caught the man who killed my wife? We asked them, Frank. They could care less. Yeah, they don't care. Uh, but do do they know I cornered him at the docks, and I said, this ends now, before we fought to the death? Yeah, and they think it's cool, and no one's arguing that. But they're all still mad at you. Speaking of docks, you would have poured a bean town seven million dollars in damages. For what? Frank, you blew up a cargo ship. It was full of iPhones and oil. I had to. The man who killed my wife was trying to get away on it. There was a gasoline leak. God, that's so very cool. And yet there's no way the monetary value of obtaining justice in the case of your murder wife tops one or two million. It's an actual rare issue, Frank. Also, you started the gasoline leak by shooting at the tanks, then intentionally blew them up. There's very little wiggle room there. That's what he said to me when he tied me to the oil barrel. I had to end it. It had gone on long enough. I know, Frank, and, and we love you for it. It was some next-level shit. This is the most badass case we've ever had. But also, it's probably going to bankrupt the precinct. Oh, yeah, we're all gone. Actions have consequences, Frank. You know, we're sorry, Frank. Really. Especially since you're still dealing with the loss of your... Your wife, Frank. I didn't, I didn't kill, kill my, my wife. wife. Man, yeah, we know. Also, you're fired and facing many criminal and civil lawsuits... Both are true. Both can be true at the same time. Fine. We'll do it your way. But just know this. In the end, I'll get my revenge. What, on us? Yes. We know you will, Frank. And we can't wait. Well, I have a mayoral summons for Detective Frank Wade. Aliens are about to blow up the planet. Oh, wow. That's, that's the kind of case I could really sink my teeth into. A whole new direction. But with that classic Frank Wade style right at the center. Unfortunately, I'm on probation. Fine. So my hands are tied. No badge, no gun. They shot my police horse. Everything. Really? Afraid so. Her name was Buffett! Well, shit. Next time on Beantown.